Yemen was once home to tens of thousands of Jews, whose history goes back to antiquity. A place where a mysterious kingdom adopted Jewish rituals. For the first time, an exhibition is looking at the history of the ancient kingdoms of South Arabia, or modern-day Yemen, and the influential role they played in the Near East thousands of years ago. Titled Yemen from Sheba to Jerusalem, the show at the Bible Lands Museum explores the ties between Southern Arabia and ancient Israel. Sheba, Kataban, Hadramaut, and Ma'in. These four kingdoms traded spices two millennia ago with what was then known as Judea, exporting exotic and valuable fragrances like myrrh and frankincense, which, according to Jewish scripture, were used in the biblical temples. I actually think this is the first exhibition of its kind that looks at the historical linkage between ancient Yemen and uh, the Yemenite culture today. It really brings to light uh, civilizations that are unknown, not only here in Israel, but maybe in the entire world, because Yemen is not an area that was uh, probably uh, excavated and researched like we know in Mesopotamia and Egypt, the, the, the famous lands of the Bible. Located some 1,500 miles from the state of Israel, the lands encompassing modern-day Yemen are the most remote mentioned in the Bible. The famed Queen of Sheba is said to have journeyed to Jerusalem to meet with King Solomon, although no archaeological evidence of this exists. The exhibit in Jerusalem also traces the history of Yemenite Jews and the rise of the mysterious Himyarite kingdom, whose rulers began following Jewish customs in the year 380. In order to unify all the clans and other entities there, they decided to actually adopt a monotheistic uh, religion, which was inspired by Judaism. And during that time, the Jews were actually very prosperous there. Following the rise of Islam in the 7th century, Yemen's Jews were persecuted and forced to pay an annual tax to Muslim authorities. Still, the Jewish community was able to develop unique traditions. The founders of the museum, and me as well, because I'm part of the founding family, we come from Yemen, part of our family. My grandfather was born in Yemen, and he came to Jerusalem as a small child. And they left Yemen rather desperately in, in 1907, and they arrived here in 1909. So those rings yeah. on display, actually, are, were made by my grandfather. His name was Zachariah Jamil. They never forgot the land of Israel, and, and some of the artifacts that we show here really show this uh, longing for arriving to the, the, the promised land. Soon after the re-establishment of Israel in 1948, a secret mission known as Operation Magic Carpet was launched. Over 50,000 Yemenite Jews were airlifted to the newfound Jewish state. But while today's Jewish presence in Yemen is minimal, the rich history is not forgotten. From the Bible Lands Museum in Jerusalem, Maya Margit reporting for the Media Line.